The 10-Minute Drill. This is a big one. It's brought to you by Lloyd's Construction and Consulting, providing first-class construction services on 1010XL. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Yes. All right, Sports Concepts and Rationalizations coming your way. We call it the 10-Minute Drill. Kick it around here. And at the end, Beef, do we have a prize pack this week? Ah, uh, we do. We're going to hook the Googans up with a chance to go, uh, you know, do a little flirting with Disaster Dan. Going to get a pair of tickets oh. to go see Molly Hatchet at the Florida Theater. May 28th, that's an 8 o'clock show. Now, Beef, I just want to clear this up. This yes, is Molly Hatchet. This isn't a Molly Hatchet this sound not, alike, man. Right, this, this is, is not the Flirt with Disaster, the music Molly of Molly Hatchet. Hatchet. This is Molly Hatchet. All right, wonderful. Jacksonville Zone. Good. That would be excellent. I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. So stay tuned for your chance to score a pair of tickets to go see them. All right, good. We'll do that. Uh, lots going on in uh, the sports world. Uh, the NBA playoffs, we've already covered Trey Young. The Lakers lost. Uh, Phoenix looked good, but the West is weird. Uh, there were a bunch of upsets. Utah losing was stunning. I didn't realize Donovan Mitchell is still a injury liability. Yeah. Well, he's at been out for like 26. Yeah. So they need him back, and he tried to go, and then they didn't like how he looked, so they held him out, and it cost him. Um, so they, they go down. Uh, and probably the most surprising one. And then Dallas, do they have the Clippers number? And Dallas, um, Dallas beats the Clippers. Well, they didn't beat them last year. They 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 played with them, mm-hmm. but the Clippers ended up winning the series. So, yeah, the West is, uh, you know, it's a bunch of good teams, man. Yeah. Like, like we said, when the Lakers are the seventh seed, then mm-hmm. I don't know if Lakers are going to beat Phoenix. Yeah, maybe not. I just don't, I don't know. I don't like their mentality. But Anthony Davis looked terrible. He was right. It was on him. He, he got outplayed by DeAndre Ayton. Yeah. But Ayton and Booker and... But then, you know, first thing you see is Chris Paul get hurt. And you're like, oh, my gosh, how fortunate. At least he's that. really hurt. You yeah. see LeBron writhing around on the ground with nothing wrong with him. No. Not I even hurt. I didn't see that. You didn't see it at the end of the game? No. It led to the fight when they had the fight on no, the court? No, I missed that. What happened? Yeah, he, he, he flopped and rolled around without a thing wrong with him. It's so untoward. <laughs> you're supposed to be a superstar. Dan, I miss Michael Jordan mm-hmm. rolling around on the ground for three minutes when he wasn't hurt. Yeah. I miss Kobe. I, mean, I I didn't see. I haven't seen superstars act like LeBron does. It's dainty. <laughs> the most unknown uh, best performance, uh, Dylan Brooks, who I figured was the Oregon kid, yeah, and he was. Is. And yeah, no, he's very. He's by the way, that wasn't out of the ordinary. No, that's what he does. Oh well, I, I mean, thirty-one a- points. Well, he doesn't average thirty-one, but yeah. he. I guarantee you, this year he's had. 30 games, he scored 20. He's one of their better players, but that's how they play. They're just kind of – the other kid is the one that surprised me is Bain from uh, the TCU. Mm -hmm. So that TCU team, I think, beat Florida one year. You're so Bain, they call him. Um, Well, uh, somebody might want to call out some defense and cover the kid. Memphis is is another – they kind of remind me of the Knicks, only they have a better superstar in job, but they're just kind of – the sum of their parts is better than what you think they would be. So after game one of Knicks-Hawks, you think the Hawks will win in – Five or will it go six? Uh, that one hurt. I like it a lot. Well, it's always hard when you lose a home game. Um, it's just the first game. You wanted to get that one. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We got to play better. I mean, John Starks Randall's got to play better. So if he does, I think we'll be okay. But I, I, you know, I always said I thought the Hawks were a little bit more talented. Knicks are gritty. It's just a t- we're I, tough. We're tough. We're, we're gonna have about six of those games like last night. I think yeah. I told my son that before the game ever started. Let me tell you, I think it's gonna go. Yeah. No team's ever gonna be up more than like seven the whole yeah. series. Yeah. D Rose is good. I mean, it's Alfred. The Payton. Hawks have more weapons. Alfred we're, Payton is a waste. The That's Hawks can get away with more because they have more yeah. weapons. Like they can have a like if Trey Young would have thirteen points, they would still have a chance to win. You can't win. If Randall scores 15, you're not winning the game. That's what I took away from the Hawks. I'm like, we're, we're not going to hold this guy under 28 the rest of the series. you got to win this game. Why is Alfred Payton getting minutes? Uh, he, he's, he's he doesn't terrible. want to upset you. Oh, he doesn't get many, but he doesn't want to. I don't know. Alec Burks was terrific last night. He's been great all year. I yeah, told you about no. him from the very beginning yeah. and he, when they started the yeah, He uh, used to be, I think, the year. Jazz. Yeah. I mean, he they could use a, him. <laughs> and Reggie Bullock was terrible. He was terrible. But you know what? Burks was – you got. But he about, offset him. The yeah, combo Burks was about him. the same. Yeah, that's and, what you got to do. And we uh, – and we the Hawks – the Hawks played good. They didn't play great. They played good. They hit some big – they could have very easy loss. What I'm so encouraged by is you're down on the road multiple times in the fourth quarter, and they kept fighting yeah. and hitting big shots. That's And the crowd was – again, it's different having that crowd for the first time. 
It's a little more shock to the system if you're a player stepping into that Lions and it just has not been that way. And yeah, were, that was kind of fun to watch. Yeah, they were riled up. But it's not fun being the visitor. You forget how much the fans impact your emotions watching. You get mad at them. You hate them. You know, if you're watching a game as the road team, as a fan of the road team, yeah, and and the other team goes on a run, the fans are going crazy. You hate that fan base so bad. Yeah, and yeah. we haven't had that. Yeah, it was good to see. I I enjoy that. Uh, I liked a lot of normalcy out there in the uh, sports world with the fans are coming back and everything. Yeah. Like I watched, you know, I watched a bunch of uh, all kinds of things. We uh, coming up, uh, by the way, at eight o'clock. We've got a great tradition that will continue on. I'll just tease it right now. Uh, uh, I love to do this. Uh, uh, Dan will order Natty Championship T-shirts, so that's coming up at eight o'clock. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, as I celebrate tennis? number forty-two here. Can you find a tennis uh, one? I don't you know. Did it. We're gonna go looking. I'll put beef on it. Gator better, tennis. Uh, we'll be getting some uh, Gator swing it for the you know number nice. one or wow. aces. <laughs> I wonder what school do you know? Uh, you said forty-second. I, yeah. I, I wondered this when I saw it. I haven't uh-huh. looked up Hannah time, by the way. And we can all just absorb some of the beauty and professionalism that is Hannah Storm. So if you're having a bad morning uh, so far, just I'm always going to get it on Stanford ESPN. or UCLA. Yeah, I wonder what the number is. Yeah, like for Florida, it's their 42nd. Does someone have 200? Uh, I'll give you an answer. Stanford has 123 as of 2000. Golly. Eight nineteen a year 123. ago. Stanford had 123. UCLA had 118. USC had 107. And then, um, okay, Jeff. Uh, five guesses, you get to ask the questions. Uh, five guesses who's number four. This is very shocking to me, but five guesses. Is it a power five? Yes. Okay. Um, is it ACC? No. Only a five? Is yeah. it Big Ten? No. Damn it, man. <laughs> All right. You know what? I have, Something has just hit me. Uh-huh. This could be wrong. Uh-huh. Is it LSU? No. Darn it. I thought I had They're it. They're ninth, by the way. Um, all right. So, uh, all right. Let me think of how about um, – so, it surprises you. So, it's a lesser team. It's not like a – you know, this isn't you like You got to guess now. This yeah, I know. It. It's not a perennial top 20 football program. This is a – all right. I'm going to go off the charts here. Yeah. Um, I'm down to big 12. I'm They've won sure. in five different sports only. Really? So maybe you could think of some dynasty like a, that they like had. A, like a swimming dynasty. Yeah. Or I, a, I, but I can't, think, I can't think of the one that they had if they did have one. So it makes it hard. Five different sports only, huh? Like Stanford's one in 20. UCLA's one in 20. I think Florida's now one in 14 of their 19 that they currently have. Wow. Yeah. Um, all right, I'm going to say Baylor. Baylor's, uh, that's a good shot. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma, well, there you go. It's similar. Oklahoma State. They've won them in what? I don't know. Golf? Yeah, I'd have to look. Maybe golf. Yeah, it maybe golf. can't be that many, though. How no. many do they have? 52. Yeah, they probably. It's a big w- drop-off after the three California schools. Yeah, I'd say. Oklahoma State, 52. Penn State, 51. Texas, 47. Now, these could be skewed by, like. A hundred swimming titles. Water polo. Yeah. Or, you know, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there were a lot of schools don't play it. I'm trying to. I, they Oklahoma have State here. Is- I don't know what Oklahoma State's won. That's crazy. Florida would be um, in this. Now, they they only recognize on this chart Florida with 36. They have 42, but it depends who you Are you rec- sure it's current? Well, it's a year ago, but okay. we have won six in a year. So, Florida's 11th. LSU is 9th. Arkansas is 7th. Arkansas would be the top SEC program with 46. They won a bunch of track and field, if yeah. I remember. Mm-hmm. So, that's how I would remember Arkansas. I, I don't I, – Oklahoma State, I remember two things, baseball and golf, and that's not enough to get to that high a number. So I don't know what sport it is they dominate. They must have won one for 20 years, tennis or something. I don't know. Like, going back in time. Well, we're going to look it up. There has to be one sport you- they've been dominant in because they have not been dominant in any of the mainstream sports. They've not won anything in football or basketball in our lifetime. So they're all coming from minor sports. I know they've won baseball. I know that. I mean, but I don't remember them winning a ton of them. There is 52 na- team national championships. Um, Badminton. First national golf title came Cornhole. in 63. Golf, golf, eight, 91, 95, 2000. Still only four. Wrestling. That's it. They've won 11 in golf, 34 in wrestling. There you go, wrestling. There's your answer. Yeah. Do you remember Oklahoma State as a wrestling power? Two in basketball. Uh, by the way, the text line does. They're lighting up. Wrestling? Yeah. They knew. Boys knew. 
But they started in 28, 29, 30, 31, 33, 34, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 46, Wrestling? 48, 49, yeah, 54. Yeah, that's so long ago, too. It hardly counts. Well, it goes all the way to 2006. Well, I mean, it counts, but as far as anyone yeah. registering, I mean, you know. No, but they won wrestling in three, four, five, and six of this century. Yeah. So. I don't, it's funny. And I, I One by, baseball. By no means am I a wrestling, uh, yeah. you know, aficionado, mm-hmm. you know, or historian. But when I think of wrestling, I just think of those Big Ten teams. See, and I like this, too. Like, different programs have different sports. Oklahoma State pulled in uh, one, two, three, four, five uh, equestrian national championships. Well, that'll happen. There, so, are, there are a lot of horses out there. Yeah, so it happens. But anyway, it's kind of fun. It, and so uh, coming up at 8 o'clock, uh, Dan orders a uh, Natty cheese. shirt Nice. Maybe if this I time, do, instead of ordering for beef, you could order me one. I'm just saying. I mean, you've, you've ordered this guy four or five shirts beef will not be, uh, I doubt no, people not Nothing get, for me. For sure, uh, the Ox Gator and the Clay County Gator would get them. Damn. Because they pay attention to this wow. stuff and they care mm. about it. So I would guess neither together. one of them watched any of the uh, tennis finale. Oh, no. Uh, Clay County Gator was up at midnight watching, just so you know, because it started late. Yes, sir. I, I am not having much success finding a tennis shirt, but I did send you a link to a shirt that I think will work in a pinch. <laughs> Okay. Did you send it on my phone or my I email? I sent it to your email. All right. <laughs> It'll pinch. It will, I think it will work. I can't wait to see that this one. But anyway, um, the B- Gator baseball team was not good this weekend, and ultimately I think they've proven out to be what we think they are, which is good but not great. I nailed it early. I didn't know no, anything I about them. That. See, this is, what I, this is why you're not but getting this shirt. <laughs> but it's true. I did. I nailed uh, it early. Can I get that? Let me take the floor. Can I get walk. that? I think it looks like a winner, man. Is that what it actually says? Yes. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> it, needs to, it, it, it needs to say national champion underneath. That's fine. Right? Oh, this is pretty good, though. It'll work, though. It says it has a Gator logo. It says Florida in orange. And underneath it says pick a sport. Right. Very that's, good, but, but I think there that's more playing off of Gator football, Gator basketball. Like, that's all right. I need the championship imprint. On. Well, listen. Uh, you oh, know, yes. At this point, so and so. At this mean, point, we got to do what we got to do. Your your poor sports weekend is throwing you all out of whack. Your your yeah, equilibrium is off. Yeah. Yeah. Mets lose two out of three. The yeah. Hawks take game one in the Blood Series. Yeah, and it you're, is blood. Yeah, you're all over the place. Man. When's the next game? Tuesday. The Wednesday. We're gonna wait to play Wednesday? Wednesday. We're humping on Wednesday. You know, it's the NBA playoffs. Like I'm playing with house money for a change. It's been a brutal, you know, period. I one other question. By the way, had a great weekend. One other question. Couldn't be any better. It was awesome. Congrats. One other question about. About the fan thing, if you're going to let 15 in, why not let 19 in? That's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't space uh, somebody it's every stupid. seat. Yeah. So you have people it's sitting dumb. together. So the, the, again, the, did I see where there were less than 25,000 total cases in the country a couple days ago? Oh, I, did, I don't know that. I think I heard that on like the World News or that whatever would be yesterday. Great. If that's the case, then why is anyone do? Yeah. Yeah. Put 100,000 in let that. Let the good building. times roll. Sure. I guess. So anyway. I, I have a. Uh, just immediate. Con- I've got the winner for my favorite email of the day. Okay, email. It comes from a Google. Beef. It's a letter. Sorry, that's old. It's a, wow. a, It's a, from Guganella Corey, who's been a friend of the program for years and years and years and years. Uh-huh. But this is just awesome. So she sends me a, a photo uh-huh. of a oh. betting of a betting slip. Oh, okay. Oh, I like. And these. it says. Phil is my all-time favorite golfer. My husband surprised me with this ticket on our recent trip to Biloxi. Oh, ho, ho. It was a great golf weekend. So happy for Lefty, too. But even what happier an for me. But this was, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Just, I love it because it's documented. On May 7th. So what? Uh, two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. On May 7th at 423 in the afternoon. Yeah. Guganella, Corey's husband, went into the sports book. They must have snickered at him when he said, give me $10 on Phil Mickelson to win the PGA. Okay. Collecting $1,510 nice. on a $10 uh, bet. Man. Now, that's hey, how you bet a long shot. Put 10 in there and uh, you know, get a ton say, of money. Guganella, Corey, I, I got Put 100, you had 15 yeah, grand. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Did, uh, that hunch down. Take hunch a, down. You take a good story, a woman field on top of the world. <laughs> she loves her man. Speaking Come of on. gambling on Phil, did you see the tweet from uh, Jason Sobel, Dan? Yes. Uh, Jason Sobel <laughs> is a golf writer with the Action Network, Sirius XM, PGA Tour. Uh, it was a brief conversation he had with Phil. Congrats, uh, Sobel Phil. Said, Quote, Congrats, <laughs> Phil. So happy for you. Phil, did you get a little payout on that? I know how you roll. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah, Phil. You know, it's funny, too. I was thinking about this in sport. Like, Phil's – there are times where Phil has been, like, not liked, right? 
I mean, by the golf. Yeah. Wasn't right? it dubbed Fig Jam? Yes. I mean, not liked. That's what happens until you win. When you win, they like you. Everyone loves a winner, Dan. It was, it's not just the winning, though. It's the longevity. There's something about longevity. But once he too. started like, winning, the narrative yeah, changed. Yeah, but they were rooting for him to win. He yeah. was, you know what I mean? Uh, he didn't win until he won yesterday. They were still rooting for him all. He was the overwhelming fan. Well, okay, favorite. think about this, though. And, and I, I'm not dousing your point at all. Uh-huh. But wasn't it about 2006 where the whole course sang his birthday? On yeah. The, he's been popular for a oh, long time. Oh, I know. Time. But I'm just saying yeah. that. But there were all, always have been incidents with Phil. Sure. The, well, yeah. he had that, that whole yeah. tax, the, the insider trading thing. Yeah. He's had. But he's, he's been in the limelight of forever. Of course. Too, so, I mean, that happens. But I just think if you last in a sport. And it's it's towards the end, then people love to root for you. I so. have, uh, by the way, don't like you. on the other side, you know, there's yeah. the thrill of victory, and then there's the boorishness of defeat. Uh, Brooks Kepka can take a. I, I'm done with him. He can take a hike. I di- I di- Well, I disagree about the crowd thing, and I'm you're the golf snob, but that was out of. They lost control of. You that. know what? You cannot. So ha- what? No, we no, all no, no, know no. it. If you're Brooks they Kepka, you don't whine about he it. He can't make it to the green. He did can- to do what? To get his bogey and finish. Well, he three has back? to finish. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I, no, no, no. You no, long no. for your sport no. to be that popular. No, you don't. You can't. You, you can't, don't make a fit. No, you don't make a no, fit out of it. You can't. He's a whiner. Dude, did you see the guy hanging on Phil? I know. I couldn't believe it. Right? You saw that, Those right? low country yahoos, terrible crowd control, I wasn't control, the only man. one. Like, a guy jumped up and put his arm around Phil and almost was, like, headlocking him <laughs> I th- they as let, he was walking They let up. it get out of control quick. And he didn't, and, like, it was a little much. That's all. Just keep, listen, I don't mind the letting them behind, but you, got, you can't engulf to where the guy cannot get to the green. <laughs> Where's Brooks? Sir Nick Faldo said, or Dottie. Dottie is very good, by the yeah, way. She, she was, was in the middle, but she wanted about she, her health. Dottie, no. Dottie Pepper has become a star in golf. Did you see him me. serenading her? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They love Dottie. Dottie's great and good for her. So she is. She's very good at it and um and enjoy her work a great deal. So, um yeah. But yeah, I I I thought about it and I was like, well, it's great for but eh, big, nah. Brooks Kepp is a big old burly man. That's fine. Man. You I mean, say play, that. you know, he loves football and everything else. Stop acting like a, you know, you're in the middle of a of a of a Uh-huh. uh-huh. Come on, man. Uh-huh. I had a I have a great funny line and I'm just not going to even say it. I'll tell you in the break and you'll both laugh. Okay. This is the drill. That's the 10-minute drill. Tell them what they won, Johnny, and we'll be back with more on the Monday Morning Quarterback, DivorcementOnly.com. Give me a number, Danny. Well, let's do uh, let's do number two at 641 to start things off. 641 The deuce is loose. Uh, call number two right now, 641 Going to go in with a pair of tickets to go see Molly Hatchet. Coming up May 28th at the Florida Theater, or you can go online and pick up tickets now. They're available. 